Well, hello everybody. This is Feed Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Birdman winning the Hobbs Airfield No Prep Race and Chuck55 setting a new track record at that track. Now please subscribe and comment. Photo credit goes directly to their respective photo owners. And stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about Street Outlaws, No Prep Kings, America's Top 20 List, Fastest in America, and of course, the OG OKC Show. So, yesterday, there was a big race held at Hobbs Airfield Speedway with a lot of heavy hitters. Barrett Man was on the property, Mike Morello, Brody Melton, Chuck 55. So... A lot of very fast snow prep cars. Now, last week, while testing at this track, Brody Melton actually set a new track record of a 453. Now, this track is a very tricky surface. Even when it's prepped, it is iffy. It's really not that good. So, going faster than a 450 is pretty hard. Now, this... Last race, that track record got broken twice. First by Birdman, which actually won the event, won the big tire race. And uh, I'm pretty happy to see him run again at the top and being competitive. This new car is beautiful, it's extremely fast, it's supposed to be faster than the old Firebird. And that old Firebird actually has won more no prep events than I believe any other car in existence. Probably with the exception of the Fireball Camaro. But that old Firebird has won over $500,000, if I'm not mistaken, worth of no prep events. So I'm pretty happy to see Birdman actually running real good. Now back to the track record. It got broken by Birdman and... Right now, the new record is set by Chuck55, also set yesterday. Also a very winning car at true no prep events. And it just set a track record. So definitely two very good guys, Birdman, Chuck55, two very experienced no prep racers. So uh, it is a tricky track, and they actually figured it out. Now, we don't know exactly what the... New track record is set out. They did not say it. But obviously, it is faster than a 453. In my opinion, they're probably going 40s or maybe 30s at this track. So let's stay tuned and see what Chuck55 and Birdman will do this year at Street Outlaws No Prep Kings Season 4. <laughs>